A common and important stress factor in temperate regions besides deserts is high salt concentrations or salinity, which has made millions of acres of land unproductive. A plant faces two problems in such areas. Absorbing water from a soil of negative osmotic potential and another dealing with the high concentrations of potentially toxic ions such as sodium, carbonate, and chloride. The facultative halophytes are particularly interesting. Several such species grow best where salt levels in the soil are high, as in deserts, brackish waters, and sea coasts close to the shores of extremely salty waters such as the Great Salt Lake, where the salt content is as high as 27% by weight. In terrestrial halophytes, the osmotic potential is minus 3.0 MPa. How do they obtain water? In some cases, the xylem sap does not have a highly negative osmotic potential but may be almost pure water. To obtain water from the surrounding soil, water potential within the xylem must be greatly lower in tension, as demonstrated by Scolander and his co-workers on mangrove trees. In some salt accumulating halophytes, the osmotic potential continues to become more negative throughout the growing season as salt is absorbed. However, the soil solution is not taken directly into the plant, instead, water moves into the plant osmotically and not simply in bulk, as the endodermal layer in the roots provides the osmotic barrier. Although sodium ions are essential for some salt-tolerant species, it is probable that sodium pumps in cell membranes actively transport much of the ion out of the cytoplasm of both root and leaf cells, inwardly to the central vacuoles and outwardly to the extracellular spaces. Can the plant use the water absorbed this way on its leaves? Mooney and his co-workers suggest two absorption pathways, directly into the leaves, or through the roots after the salty solution has dripped onto the ground. Either pathway would require metabolic energy and mechanisms that are not known to exist in plants. Halophytes synthesize large quantities of proline, amino acids, galactosyl glycerol and organic acids. These compounds function in osmotic adjustment. Another potential problem for plants growing on saline soils is obtaining enough potassium. This is because sodium ions compete with the uptake of potassium ions by a low affinity mechanism, as potassium ions are commonly present in soils in much lower concentrations than sodium. In this respect, the presence of calcium appears to be crucial. If sufficient calcium is present, a high affinity uptake system having a preference for the transport of potassium ions can operate well, and the plants can then obtain sufficient potassium and restrict sodium. <laughs>